So, you're in kind of a fix, aren't you? Well, don't worry. I'm here to help you. You're going to meet seven people who really lived in the 19th century. Stratus created this adventure just for you. You should feel honored. This screen is called the media screen. On the top right are five buttons, text, video, music, art, and literature. When they're highlighted, you can click them. All three of the games that you're going to play are behind the text button. The counter is right below the media button. And below the counter, you can see the map button, the go back button, the OK button, and the quit button. Go ahead, look around. Remember, when you're ready to play the games, click the text button. To play three different games to get back, strategy, clue, and word. To win, you have to play all three games. If you don't get enough points, you might miss your senior prom. <laughs> well, just kidding. When you're ready to play a game, just click one of the three buttons at the top of this screen. All set? Read the question, listen to the cyber strategy, then if you need to, reread the biography. Click your answer and then click OK. You need 900 points to get back to my house. Look at this score. You beat Stratus. Ready? Here's how to play the word game. Listen to the cyber conversation. Then find the sentence that uses the word correctly. Click your answer. Then click OK. Wonderful. You're absolutely correct. You're a genius. Fantastic! You got it! Stratus. Take a trip, be the one Connected to a million worlds of timeless fun Excellent! Keep up the good work! Great! You got it! You're absolutely correct! Good work! You're great! Here's the correct answer. Keep on trying. I know you can do it. Okay, here's the right answer. Don't give up. I'm counting on you. Think about it, then try again. Try again. You can do it. Now don't dawdle. Here's how to play the clue game. After you've read the biography, read the riddles. Find the riddle that describes the person whose biography you're in. Highlight the riddle and then click OK.
going. San Francisco? 1906? What am I doing here? I'm not even born yet. Sarah, can you hear me? Miss Stafford? Where are you? Look at your Stratus navigator. What happened? Well, let's figure it out. Do you know where you are? San Francisco, April 18, 1906. Wait a second. I know that date. That's the date of the San Francisco earthquake. Did you say earthquake? Can you get me out of here right now? Listen to me, Sarah. You can get back, but you've got to play the game. I don't want to play a game. Stratus will show you how. I've got to go find the other kids. I'll check back with you when I can. Wait! How much time do I have? Not much. You better hurry. The earthquake could hit at any time. Good luck! Oh, boy. By 1905, Mrs. Carrie Chapman Catt and Dr. Anna Howard Shaw had taken up the national struggle. My first American appearance since many years of living and performing in Europe. I must admit, I'm a bit nervous. There's already been a lot of rumors about how outrageous my dancing is. It's amazing how people criticize anything that is new or different. Dance should be free from rules. It should come from the solar plexus, here. Not back here. I look to nature for inspiration. I try to move the way a panther climbs a tree, or the way grass blows in the wind, or the way waves crash onto the beach. There's my cue. Wish me luck. And women got the vote. After a long fight against prejudice and ridicule, the ladies had a right to celebrate. Dances across the nation reflected the final bursting of bonds loosened during World War I. Once it had been a waltz, now it was the shimmy. By the 1920s, women were more than ever earning their way in jobs formerly reserved for men. New York even got lady policemen a formidable force which, though its main job was directing traffic, could doubtless make any criminal blanch. Just came back from Fort Gunny over on Montgomery Street. That's where the Vigilance Committee hands out justice. The committee's business today involved the killers of one James King. He was a reporter who was murdered in broad daylight for criticizing the current city government. The committee aimed a cannon at the front door of the jail and gave the keeper 10 minutes to let go of King's murderers. Once in their custody, the criminals were taken over to Fort Gunny where they were tried, convicted, and executed by hanging. The whole thing took less than an hour. This is, after all, the frontier where gamblers and dishonest politicians hold the city government. Maybe justice was served, but was it right for them to take the law into their own hands? <laughs> Thank you. 
Once mere clerk in commission house, Rockefeller parlayed oil into fortune running into hundreds of millions of dollars. But by 1921, he had given over half billion to philanthropic and charitable organizations and established famed Rockefeller Foundation, corporation whose business is charity. Lincoln Steffens was a progressive journalist. His book on urban conditions he called The Shame of the Cities. Ray Stannard Baker exposed corruption in the mines and railroads. The muckrakers, as they were called, believed exposure could lead to reform. Upton Sinclair would become the most famous muckraker of the decade. In 1906, he published a novel about the meatpacking industry. It was called The Jungle. Sinclair revealed that rancid and tubercular beef, rats, and garbage got canned right along with the good meat. The jungle caused a public furor. Investigations proved the charges correct and increased public demand for a federal meat inspection law. stimulated other industries as well. For cars meant gas, and gas meant oil, and rubber, glass, and steel. Ticket, please. Ticket? Yeah. You need a ticket to ride on my train. I don't even know how I got here. Uh-huh. No ticket, no ride. You're off at Mud Run. Where's Mud Run? <laughs> what, what, what's the date? October 10th, 1888. Wow. 1888. This is cool. Jessica, can you hear me? Yeah, and I can see you too. I'm on a train near a place called Mud Run. <laughs> if you can believe it. I mean, imagine a place called Mud Run. What's the date? October 10th, 1888. Just a minute. On that date, two passenger trains collided outside Mud Run, Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Look, Jessica, play the game with Stratus. It'll get you home. But can't you help me? You'll have to do it yourself. Just use your head and you'll be all right. Okay, wait, how long before we crash? It could be any minute. Better get started.
you sure this is the place? <laughs> yeah, it's the mall. Well, we follow the directions, this is it? This is kind of a weird place for a communications project. I think it's cool. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's home. Let's go. You're right. We kind of got lost and thought that maybe... Did you know that if General Hooker had arrived a few hours later at the Battle of Gettysburg, it might have changed the course of the entire Civil War? Oh, mm -hmm. I guess not. Did you know that time is relative and it rarely flows in one direction? Well, don't, Dottle. Follow me. After you. Welcome to my home. Look around. Look around. Look around. This is cool. Get your name straight. Jessica? Sarah? Max? And you must be Tony, right? And Mr. Marishiro sent you here to experience the future of communication. Well, it's all right here in front of you. You mean all these antiques? I've already given you a hint. Oh, you mean when you said that time rarely flows in one direction? Yes, you are listening. Excellent. Now, watch this. This is Stratus. It accesses all neural synaptic transactions from the past, present, and future. Excuse me? Stratus lets you access anyone, anywhere, anytime. And it likes to play games. These are your Stratus Navigators. They let you play with Stratus. Okay now, let's get started. What happened? Stratus is pretty quirky. Let me get my navigator and check something out. I got this thing wired. Tony, what did you do? <clears throat> um, I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about this. I've done something wrong. Uh, guy, can you beat me up or back or whatever? Guys, Tony, is that you? Miss Stafford, you know how I always really liked you. Could you uh, get me out of here quick? Where are you? Uh, some boat full of soldiers in blue uniforms. Wait, there's a life preserver that says Sultana. Ask somebody what the date is. Are you kidding? No way. You have to. Excuse me, sir. 
sir. Um, <laughs> could you uh, tell me the date? Twenty-seventh. The twenty-seventh. Okay, and the month? April. April. Uh, the year? Eighteen and sixty-five. What are you, some kind of numbskull? Uh, yeah, I'm a numbskull. Did you hear that? Tony, I checked the database. On April 27, 1865, a riverboat called the Sultana exploded on the Mississippi. I can't get blown up. I just got my driver's permit. Tony, calm down. Stratus will get you home, but you've got to play the game. Okay, so how long do I have till the, you know, the Big Bang? It doesn't give the exact time, but it could happen at any minute. Okay, so what do I have to do? Just play the game, Tony. British soldiers, they're trying to blow up our gunpowder. Come on, we gotta get out of here. You won't be any good to old Hickory in little pieces. Come on, let's get. Max, can you hear me? I can hear you. What happened? Never mind the details. Where are you? In the middle of a war. There's redcoats on one side and somebody called Old Hickory on the other. Old Hickory was a nickname for General Andrew Jackson. You must be in the War of 1812. Great. This is all very interesting, and I'm really learning a lot, but I really think I should be getting back. Max, all you have to do is play the Stratus game, and you can get back. How do I play? Stratus will show you how. Better hurry. Miss Stafford, I did it! Are you okay? I will be as soon as this roof's not shaking. Sarah, you're back. There's no earthquake here. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Back. So, how was it? I was terrified. I was petrified. I was mesmerized. <laughs> when can I go back? <laughs> All right, that was a piece of cake. Okay, Stratus, open sesame. <laughs> Stratus, open sesame. Stratus, what's the hold up? Open up. Stratus. Wait a second! Wait a second! Oh, thanks. Are you okay? Sure, well, that was a close one. Did you learn anything? Uh, yeah. Next time, pack a lunch. <laughs> I finished! I finished! Now what? You made it. What? It must have been scary. Sorry. I've got homework to do. I'm glad you got back safely. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not hungry. Anyway, welcome back. Oh, hi Miss Stafford. <laughs> 